Early and intense heat waves has arrived in Southeast Asia for 2025. Southeast Asia is facing a new wave of extreme heat waves, with the cooling impact of La Nina being short-lived. The Philippines, Myanmar, Thailand and India experienced extreme heat waves between December 2024 and February 2025, disrupting daily lives and economic sectors like fisheries and agriculture. The heat waves also exacerbated the humanitarian crisis in Myanmar, where over 3,600 people lost their lives due to the 7.7 magnitude earthquake. In Vietnam, the heat wave was less severe, but authorities warned of mild heat waves and severe rainfall between April and June. However, the northern and central parts of the country are likely to experience prolonged high temperatures in July and August and a potential landfall of three storms over the East Sea between July and September. South Asia is accustomed to experiencing extreme summer heat, but scientists fear the situation will escalate as the trend of every consecutive year being hotter than the previous one continues. Early season heat waves are becoming more frequent and dangerous, with 6 out of 11 cities experiencing heat, strongly influenced by climate change, for 30 days or more between December 2024 and February 2025 being in Asia. South Asia is also experiencing rapid urbanization, with over 200 million more people expected to relocate to cities by 2050. This transition would further complicate existing problems in the region, such as the lack of sufficient green spaces and the prevalence of heat-retaining surfaces like concrete and asphalt. This would prevent proper cooling during nighttime, increasing heat stress on human bodies. The World Bank estimates that 185 million people in the Asia-Pacific region live in extreme poverty, while over 260 million more could be pushed into poverty in the next decade. The Asian Development Bank warns that poverty remains highest in South Asia, with the poorest bearing the biggest brunt of extreme heat. The Global Climate Risk Index 2025 shows that Southeast Asia has been the most affected by climate change between 1993 and 2022. The problem requires a combination of short and long-term solutions. In the short term, expanding urban green spaces establishing public cooling centers and prioritizing water access are essential. Retrofitting buildings, improving energy efficiency, and addressing power supply shortages are also crucial. Redesigning urban planning and building codes to prioritize heat resilience is also essential. Southeast Asian governments should prioritize protecting the poorest by assisting them in escaping poverty or coping with extreme heat. Reducing carbon emissions and reconsidering fossil fuel expansion plans are long-term solutions. Scientific evidence suggests the problem is likely to worsen, making action necessary for survival.